Mikkel was in the minivan when I got picked up for the airport, uh, so I was able to get to know her right off the bat, although she hung back a bit. She wasn't as energetic a talker as the other kids. Uh, there's one thing you need to remember about Mikkel. It's that she likes pink. So in all the future pictures, notice how much pink she's wearing and how much pink she surrounds herself with. I was able to snap these next two pictures of her on a chair in the living room. Notice that she's got a pink outfit and notice her pink slippers. I was able to ride along when uh, Marcy took Landon and Mikkel to school several times. Um, Rhett and McKenna had to go so early that I didn't make it with them, but uh, I did go along and see them head off to school and also I got to see them come home quite a number of times. Uh, that hour between when the older kids left and they had to go to school, we spent in a variety of ways. Uh, one morning I was reading books to both Landon and Mikkel, and I think we got through two or three, but we had to finish the last one after they got home from school. We just cut it a little too close. These next three shots are taken right after the kids got home from church and Mikkel's in her beautiful feminine pretty white dress. Uh, she almost looks like a bride. She posed with Landon and he's demonstrating his, his the latest loot from the Tooth Fairy. And then she also posed with, the McKen with McKenna. Um, just a really gorgeous dress. In this next picture of Mikkel, I think she may even be in her jammies. It might just be lounging clothes as well, but uh, big long t-shirt. She's eating a snack. Snacks were a very popular after school activity. Mikkel always had homework to do. She didn't really put up much of a fuss about doing it, but uh, it is hard to get her to do it. She seems to be pretty expert at distracting people when they're trying to get her to focus on her homework, and uh, she's got quite a lot of skills up her belt. Here she is uh, in one of her favorite study places, actually. This is on her bed in her bedroom. Uh, look for a few things. Uh, look for the pink. Uh, behind her, you can see um, a few items of her purse collection. She showed me her purse collection the first night I was there. I tried to get her to call it a handbag because it sounds a little bit more chic. Now, notice her study table. She had a variety of study tables, but they all had one thing in common. They were all cutting boards swiped from her mother in the kitchen. Um, I think Marcy always knew where to look for cutting boards, and that was Mikkel's bed or under her covers or something similar, but uh, she did like those to study on. A lot of activities for Mikkel were not anything she was directly involved with. It but it was surrounding the other children. Uh, going to and from play practice for Rhett and McKenna, as well as Landon's t-ball games. And so Mikkel was either a willing or an unwilling participant to this. I'm not sure, but she's a good-natured kid. And this is a picture of her eating dinner, actually. This was at Landon's t-ball practice. It was about the only way we, can, we could swing it that day. Uh, couldn't really eat at home without making another trip, and saving Marcy a trip was a goal for that day. And here she is mugging for the camera, wearing her brother's hat. I'm surprised that it looks so large on her. I thought it was Landon's, so anyway, I snapped her picture in it. These are a couple of pictures I snapped of her just around home. Here she is at the back fence in the yard. This is the uh, fence in 
that leads to the rest of the apartments as well as the swimming pool and it was just off the back door to the house uh, and she's sitting here in the living room on the couch the couch is a wonderful area it's I guess it, it's like L-shaped but um, it can fit the whole family it's a wonderful suite here she is on the swing set in the backyard and I've got two co pictures here of her at the old computer. Now I know that it's the old computer because we moved the old computer to that particular desk. The new computer is just to the left of that on a different desk. McKill doesn't get much computer time from what I hear, but uh, I'm going to start sending her emails and monitoring her progress and teaching her some computer skills. So she better get ready for that. She's going to have more computer time when I do that. These next two pictures of Mikkel were taken at the playground. She didn't uh, abandon me and lose me, so to speak, like McKenna did, but uh, she did disappear, but she came back a little bit more often to just touch base and how, ask how things were going with uh, the t-ball game situation, but she seemed to enjoy the playground, and uh, she seemed to have quite a number of friends there. It was a question mark for a while as to whether or not Rhett was going to be able to attend a party at Karen's and Mark's because of his play practice, but it turns out that we were able to pick him up at school and then head off straight for the party. And this picture of Mikkel was taken over in the bushes. We had to wait a few minutes for Rhett to come out, and Landon took off and got in the, the plant, and then I felt bad because I took his picture, and that probably encouraged him. And then Marcia went out and tried to arrange the plan so it wasn't as devastated as it was from Landon's treatment. And then Mikkel ended up in it, and that's where I snapped this picture of her. This is a picture of Mikkel and Landon. They're sitting in the family or recreation room there at Karen and Mark's. Mikkel did her share of playing and clowning around. Once when I was, I had a bad night's sleep and I was trying to take a nap, I went into the house just briefly and saw the kids and I told Mikkel if she wanted to come out and read me a story, maybe that would help put me to sleep. Well, she came out and brought her book and, uh, well, it ended up waking me up more, but we had a good time and in reading the book, I discovered that mikkel has got quite an impressive repertoire of voices, and she can trot them out on demand. It's pretty impressive. This is a picture of her in the anyway. She is playing badminton with some sort of ball, almost a ping pong ball, but not quite. Uh, she was out here for quite a while. I'm all by herself. I'm not quite certain what else she did, but she seemed to have fun. These next two pictures are clowning with McKenna in the dining room. One of the more substantial things I was able to do with Mikkel was help her on her Oprah project. She had to do a report on a famous person and she chose Oprah. So we looked up some resources online and um, as well as some pictures and I taught her how to download them and save them and then work them into her project. Um, Marcy told me that um, Mikkel pretty much finished her project without any uh, other assistants and she did a very nice job which was good to hear. My last day was spent mostly at Landon's t-ball game and here's a picture of Mikkel, one of my favorites, where she's in the circle there on the playground. Those are McKenna's legs and then I snapped her uh, playing on the other equipment. <laughs> 